Mark 16 and 17 through 18. Right. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. Right. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall, they shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Right. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Right? Now get the give me uh Matthew 13 and 34. Let's understand this. Matthew 13 and 34. What's that read? All these things spake Jesus unto the multitude in parables. Uh-huh. And without a parable spake he not unto them. Read it again. All these things spake Jesus unto the multitude in parables. Right, so even the saying that he just wrote. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak in new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. This was even a parable. Parable. He was he was speaking parabolically. We're going to explain that. Read, give me uh Matthew 13 and 10. Matthew 13 and 10. Read that. And the disciples came and said unto him, why speakest thou unto them in parables? Why do you keep speaking to the people in parables? Why is Yahweh shall always speaking to the people in parables? Read. He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom mm -hmm. of heaven, but to them it is not given. Why? So that, that kills the whole notion, the whole sin that Yahweh shall came to save everybody. He's speaking in mysteries and parables. He's speaking in allegories and similitudes because he wants some people to know and he wants others not to know what he's saying. All right? Let's get uh let's give an example of that. Give me John 3 and 1. John 3 and 1. Watch this. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus. Right? A ruler of the Jews. Right, so this man Nicodemus was a Pharisee. Right? And we already know Yahweh Shah said, be not like the hip the Pharisees. Why? Because they hypocrites. He called them snakes to their face. Why? Keep reading verse 2. The same came to Jesus by night. See, that proves it. Why didn't this man come in the daytime? Because he was fake. He was trying to be sly. He was really trying to get something for nothing. He was trying to get the kingdom without giving up what he, what he had on earth. He was sitting in the high seat. He didn't want nobody to see him. Talking to Yahweh Shah. So let's see how Yahweh Shah deal with him. Read. The same came to Jesus by night right. and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that. He said, Who? Rabbi. 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 <laughs> Read. We know that thou. Hold on. It says, Rabbi, we. You see that? But only Nicodemus came. So why is it saying we? That's because the Pharisees chose him to send him. But hey, you, you go speak for us. Right, you go speak to Yahweh Shah in the middle of the night. Why we know he the savior, but we don't want nobody, you know. We trying, you know, we trying to do our thing. Keep reading. We know that thou art a teacher come from God. Why we know that we know you the son of God. Read. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest, except God be with him. Right? Watch how Yahweh Shah answer him. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee. Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Be born again? You gotta you gotta think about what's going on. Yahweh Shah kicked the straight parable to him. Mm -hmm. He said, You want what I got? You gotta be born again. Watch what he say. Watch what Nicodemus say. That which is born of the Verse flesh. Four. four. Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? See, he baffled. What do you mean, born again? I'm old. What Am I supposed to go back in my mother's womb? Mm -hmm. I'm a grown man. Read. Can he enter the second time un into his mother's womb and be born? Watch what Yahweh Shai said. Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Hey, that's a high parable. And even, even today, when you, ask, when you ask a pastor, How do you be born? of water and of spirit.
they're gonna tell you gotta be baptized. You gotta come to my church. You gotta, I got, you gotta let me dunk you. Under, you going under a sinner, you gonna come up a bigger sinner. That's not what that is, man. We know that the spirit, get uh, John 6, 63. We know what the spirit is. John 6 and 63. And get John 4 and 13. John 6 and 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth. Uh huh. The flesh profiteth nothing. Right. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit. Right. So these spirits, I mean these, these waters, this spirit right here, will will make you new. Give me uh Psalms. What's that? Psalms seventeen and nine. Convert it. Keep read read that again. Okay. It is the spirit that quickeneth. Right. The flesh profiteth nothing. So it don't have nothing to do with with your body. Being dunked on the water. Read. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit. Uh huh. And they are life. We have to be reborn of these. Meaning what? You have to be renewed in your mind and your thinking. You have to literally relearn everything that you were ever ever taught. And you have to become like a child. You have to ask questions. Inquisitive. You gotta always be pulling on the most high. You gotta always be trying to figure it out. Because that's what children do. They want to know why this works, why that works. They making mistakes. You got to make mistakes in this thing, man. You got too many people in this thing afraid to make mistakes. You going to make mistakes, man. That's what happens when you're learning. You make mistakes, man. If you're afraid to make mistakes, you're not going to fare well in this thing. You got to do it, man. We got to learn. You got that? Mm -hmm. Give me that. Uh, Psalms chapter 19 and 7. Read that. Uh, the law of the Lord is perfect, uh -huh. converting the soul. That's how you be born again. The mm -hmm. law of the Lord is perfect, converting the, the soul. Read. The testimony of the Lord oh, is so sure, making yeah. wise to simple. Right. It takes mere man, simple man, and make them great. That's what this word do. Mm -hmm. It takes the simple-minded people, and it establishes them, right? So continue on, verse 4, 3 and 4, Jasper. Okay. Now, verse 5, 3 and 5. All right. Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Right. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. Right. And that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Man, you see, he's kicking some high parables. Can you imagine Nicodemus? He don't know what Yahweh Shah is saying <laughs> at all. He said, he told him that which is born of flesh is flesh, and that which is born of spirit is spirit. Right? Read verse 7. Marvel not that I said unto thee. Because he know he got his mouth dropped. Mm -hmm. He said, don't, don't, don't be surprised at what I just said. Read. Ye must be born again. Right. The wind bloweth where it listeth. Hey, now he going off into the wind. He want this dude to not get it at all. The wind born again spirit water the wind man what is he talking about can you imagine he just like man what the i can never get this right. and that's how the people be because it's not for you right that's how the people be when these scriptures come out you can make it plain but the yahweh shah has blinded their minds not yahweh shah the most high has blinded their mind why because he don't want them to get it mm -hmm. why so these are parables keep reading and thou hearest the sound thereof, mm -hmm. but canst not tell whence it cometh, right? And whither it goeth. So if every so if every one that is born of the spirit, right? Nicodemus answered and said unto him, How can these things be? And he's like, man, what's going on? How can this happen? What what are you talking about? Now watch what Yahweh Shah say. Jesus answered and said unto him, Art thou a master of Israel? Ain't you a teacher? Read. And know it's not these things. You should know this. <laughs> you should know this. You should know this. So didn't the Nic Nic Nicodemus get uh, salvation? Okay. Hey, it wasn't put in there. <laughs> Why? But he put that thing on a bit. And that's how he do the people. You got something? I got three Bring that up. Bring uh, that up. 1 Corinthians 2, 9 and 10. It say, but as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard neither have entered into the heart of man right. the things which god have prepared for them that love him right 
but God has revealed them unto us by his spirit. Right. For the spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. You see that? So if, if the most high, you're only going to get it if the spirit come down and sub with you. If the most high is displeased with you, you're going to be given over to the spirit of stupid. Now there's a spirit of light and there's a spirit of darkness. Now give me Matthew uh, 23 and 1. Read that. Matthew 23 and 1. Then spake Jesus to the multitude and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. Why? They want authority. That's why he was dealing with Nicodemus, how he's dealing with Nicodemus. They want the authority, right? Read verse 2. Saying, No, read, three. read verse 3. All therefore whatsoever they bid you observe. Right. That, that observe and do. Right. Read verse 5. But all their works they do for to be seen of men. That's why he came in the dark. Why? Because he was a man pleaser. He didn't want to be seen with Yahweh Shah, but he wanted men to see him in a different light. In his own works, in his own deeds. They didn't, he didn't want to be seen following Yahweh Shah, asking Yahweh Shah, admitting that he didn't have the answers. That's why Yahweh Shah said, you a teacher, right? You should know these things. Read. Okay. But all their works for they they do for it to be seen of men. Mm -hmm. They make broad their phylacteries. 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 And enlarge the borders of their garments. Right, so they got great fringes, right? Read. And love the uppermost room rooms at feast. You see that? They want to sit in the front at the top. They want to be saluted by men. You got a lot of men in this truth like that. Especially the in the Christian church. Hey man, they got a deacon parking. I went to a church before where you couldn't sit on the front row. Like I, I went in there, I sat on the front row. They came and told me to move. I was just trying to, you know, move. You can't. See. It was empty as hell. It was like one or two people on this big ass pew. Like right, move, move. Man, I hate. I, and it makes me angry, man. Keep reading, man. And love the uppermost rooms at feasts. Right. And the chief seats in the synagogues. You see that? And greetings in the markets. And to be called of men, Rabbi, Rabbi. Right. That's why That's why Yahweh Shah wasn't messing with Nicodemus. Because he knew he was a hypocrite. Mm -hmm. He knew that he was not pure hearted. That he was fake. And if you faking this thing the most, I'm not messing with you. You're not going to understand the Bible. You're going to be, you're going to be in the book of Enoch. You want to be in the book of Jasher. Why? Because the most high not messing with you. You're going to be giving over to darkness, man. You're going to be trying to figure out the process, the uh, the precepts through some lost books, man. And not understanding the 66 and, and the 13 that's right in front of you, man. That's just, that's, that's, that's madness, man. Give me uh, you had a precept. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, Deuteronomy 29 and 29. Bring that out. It says, the secret things belong unto the Lord, our God. Uh -huh. Those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children you forever. That? You see that? That we may do all the words of this law. That's beautiful. Right? Those things that are revealed are what? Read that again. But those things? Um, but those things which are revealed belong unto us In our and to our children you forever. That? You see that? So that's the these are benefits. What 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 benefit is the Jew? And of the circumcision? It's much, chiefly in every way, right? Mm -hmm. That the paraphrasing the or oracles of, of the most high has been committed to us. We know what's real. We know what's truth. We cannot be deceived. Yeah. That's great benefits. That means your next decision is going to be your best decision. There's so many people that don't know what to do next. They don't know what, they got plenty of money. They got all the things that you would want in this world, but they do not, they next de decision is gonna be destruction. The next decision that they make is gonna destroy everything they got, right? Because wisdom is the stability of your times, man. They don't have the oracles. They don't know what's happened and they don't know where we at and they don't know what's to come. But we know all these things, man. Give me uh give me where we at? Give me give me Matthew 3 and 4. Watch this. And the same John had his raiment of camel's hair. Right, so not only Yahweh Shah didn't want 
these these Pharisees to be saved. And we showed you that through the precepts. Watch how John deal with them. Read that. And the same, John had his raiment of camel's hair. Right. And a leathern girdle about his loins. Uh-huh. And his meat was locusts and wild honey. Right. Then went out to him, Jerusalem, and all Judea, and all the region round about Jordan. Right. So John was a, he was a great man. And all the people of Israel was coming to see John to be baptized of him. But watch this. And were baptized of him in Jordan, confessing their sins. Read verse 7. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees. Watch how he deal with them. Read. Come to his baptism. He said unto them, O generation of vipers, who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Why, what y'all doing here? I don't want to baptize y'all. Who, who told y'all? How did you get the understanding? You see that? You old vipers, you damn snakes. Who warned you? Right? So that's 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 the uh that's what we have to understand about what Yahweh Shah is saying in Matthew 16 and 16, 17, 17 through 18. It's speaking parabolically. Now let's get cast out the devils. Let's get this. Get read that Matthew 16 and 17 again. Verse 16. Mm -hmm. Okay, Matthew 16 and 17. Right. 16 and 17. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon by Jonah. No, Matthew 16 mm -hmm. or uh, Mark. Mark. Oh. Mark 16 and 17. Mark 16 and 17. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. Right. They shall cast out devils. So they're saying if you, if y'all got the true power of Yahweh Shah, of Jesus, then why don't y'all cast out devils? We are casting out devils. Every time you see a brother put those fringes on, start keeping the commandments, hey, the devil's been cast out of him. That darkness, that devil that was keeping him in darkness, that devil that was telling him that he didn't have to keep the commandments. That devil that was telling him that Yahweh Shah was white, right? The devil that was telling him that he was just a nigga. Every time that you see a sister, she change. She take off them short shorts, put on a long dress, modest apparel, and a hair wrap and start keeping the commandments. Hey, the devil has been cast out of her. The devil has been cast out of her. Why are we going to show you what that devil was, man? Give me uh, Ephesians 6 and 12. Ephesians 6 and 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Why? Right, so we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. Read. But against principalities. Uh huh. Against powers. Uh huh. Against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. Spiritual wickedness in high places. We literally wrestle against the spirits that's on our people. In high places. Where is this high place? It's in your mind. That's why they say, hey, you high minded. All that is is pride, man. That's a spirit of pride that's blinding you, right? A spirit of pride that will that that's on you that don't want to keep the commandments, right? A spirit of pride on you that that's blinding you, telling you that hey, your nationality don't mean nothing. That's that's a spirit of stupor. That is a demon that's on you. I don't care. I don't care. I'm an Israelite. What's nationality? What color? What what does it matter? What color? Jesus. That's stupidity. That's that spirit working on your mind. That's pride. That's pride, man. And it has to be cast out so you can see clearly. Give me that. Give me uh. Give me First John two and sixteen. First John two and sixteen. Read that. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh. Right, the lust of the flesh. That's all that's here. And the lust of the eye. The lust of the eye. And the pride of life. And the what? And the, and the pride, pride of life. life. That's all that's here. That's all you dealing with was pride. That's it, man. Give me Proverbs 6 and 18. Proverbs 6 and 18. Read that. And heart that deviseth wicked imaginations, feet that be swift in running to mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, 
And he that sows discord among brethren. That's not what I wanted, but that's okay. Give me, uh, that's what I wrote down. But give me this. I'll show you. Mm -hmm. Give me 2 Corinthians 4 verse 3. Watch yes. this. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 3. Read that. But if our gospel be hid, uh -huh. it is hid to them that are lost. Read. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not. Read it again. Verse 4. In whom the God of this world the, hath... The spirits. The wicked spirit. Right? Read. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not. Right? Read. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, shall shine unto them. You see that? So it's literally a wicked spirit working on them. That's keeping them from coming into the truth, man. Mm -hmm. That's all that is, man. Give me uh, Romans 11 and 8. Mm -hmm. Romans 11 and 8. According as it was written, God hath given them the spirit of slumber. Who did that? God hath given them the spirit of slumber. So literally it's telling you that the Most High sent a spirit. Of slumber, a spirit. This that. This is that. This is how you cast out them devils. If you can see clearly through the spirit, why? Right? So when you wake up, that spirit has been cast off you. It's been cast out. When you're not woke, that spirit is on you. It's in you. That's what blinding your mind that you don't come to the knowledge of the truth. Why? Because somewhere, somehow, you offended the Most High. The Most High did it to you. He did it to you. He the one got you destroying yourself. You think you making the decisions. You think you bucking up. You think you got all the answers. When it's the spirit really leading you like a puppet. Playing with your life. And eventually that spirit is going to kill you. He's laughing at you. He got you like this. They laughing at you. Mocking. Why? Who did it? Who gave the go ahead? The most high. Keep reading that. Okay. Verse 11. I mean 8. Okay. According as it, it as it is written, God hath given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear, until this day. You see that? So it's a fearful thing. It's a terrible thing to fall in the hands of the Most High, man. Why to think you you know what the hell's going on and you don't? Give me uh, watch this. I'll give you an example of it. Give me Exodus seven and three. Exodus watch this. seven and three. Right? Who who more prideful than Pharaoh? Who more pompous than Pharaoh? Give me that. Then he say, who is your God that I should serve him? Mm -hmm. Give I me that. Give me that. Give me that real quick. Exodus. Read that real quick, uh, so Jasper. Okay. Yeah. And I will harden Pharaoh's heart. Uh -huh. and, and multiply my signs and my wonders in what? the land of Egypt. Read it again. And I will harden Pharaoh's heart. So how is the Most High hardening Pharaoh's heart? With the spirit. With that same spirit. Yeah. With that same spirit that's going to blind his mind. Mm -hmm. Why? That's going to have him speaking father. That's going to have him thinking that he's making the decisions. Mm -hmm. No one makes no decisions here. You're doing what the Most High has allowed you to do. Mm -hmm. You're doing exactly what he... Give me that in, uh, Give me that real quick. Uh, Job 33 and 14. Shinada. Job 33 and 14 Job chapter 33 Verse 14 For God speaketh once uh -huh. Yea twice Right. Yet man perceiveth it not Why? So man don't know When the most high is speaking Right he's warned you He's warned you once He's warned you twice why are you still not getting it? Read. Verse 15. In a dream, in a vision right. of the night, when the deep sleep falleth upon me, he do men, what? and slumbering upon the bed. Right. Then he opened the ears of men and sealeth their instruction. Why? So sometimes he ought to sit you down okay. because you don't understand what's going on. So literally, he seals instruction in you. He makes you do his will. Okay. Right? So let's see how pompous uh, Pharaoh was. Read that. Exodus 5 and 2. Read that. And Pharaoh said, 
Who is the Lord that I shall obey his that's, voice? That's all that is, is on our people. That's pride. And they saying this very same thing. Read that. Read it again. Who is the world? And Pharaoh said, Who is the Lord that I should obey his voice? Right. We know not the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Only God that we know is white Jesus. This is spirit that's on our people. I'm saved and sanctified already. Right? I don't have to keep no commandments. Read. To let Israel go. Uh-huh. I know not the Lord, neither will I let Israel go. You see that? He not they're not gonna obey. You had a precept, bring it up. Uh Proverbs 16, uh, one and two. It says uh, the preparation of the heart in man mm. and then the answer of the tongue is what? Is from the Lord. You see that? So what, what I'm about to say next is from the most high. What you about to do next, the most high ordained. Read. Verse two. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes. Mm. But the Lord way of the spirit. You see that? So give me uh, Hebrews 10 and 31. Let's talk about this spirit that the Most High put on our on our people, man. The spirit that we're casting out for our people. Through the precepts, through the light. You see? Hebrews 10 and 31. Read that. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Why? Because he's plotting on you when you don't know it. You know what I'm saying? He's plotting on you when you, you don't understand it, man. Watch this. Hold on. Give me uh give me John 9 and 1. John 9 and 1. John John chapter John chapter 9 and verse 1. And as your house shine passed by. He saw a man which was blind from his birth. Right. Go ahead. And Read it from the top. And Yahushai passed by. Right. He saw a man which was blind from his birth. Right. So they're looking at a man that had been blind since the day he was born. Read that. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin? This man or his parents? He said, who sinned? This man or his parents? So they understood. The disciples understood that hey, the Most High will get you back. You, you, can, he, he will, you can live your life. He's long-suffering. You can live your life. He'll wait for you to die to get you back, man. And you'll be born blind. You'll be born to damn two, two, two damn homosexual daddies. You see that? He'll put you in the family that people that hate you. He'll give you a father that rape you, right? He'll give you a mother that, that damn, only thing you watch her do is shoot up damn LSD and, 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 and damn trick. And ain't no food in the refrigerator. He'll give you wicked parents. You see that? He'll pay you back. He'll, he'll, make, he'll make you be born again and you be retarded. You can't see. Right? You got one leg. You got nubs for arms. The most high is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the most high. He'll get you back, man. Stop playing with the most high, man. Right, what you got? Uh, second Ezra chapter 7, uh, verse 56. Read that. <laughs> and it says, For while we lived and committed iniquity, Right. We consider not that we should begin to suffer for after death. You see that? So the most I gonna get you back, man. Read. Keep going. It was more on that, yeah. Okay, uh, verse 57. Then answer he me and said, This is the condition. That was it on that. Okay. So if you're wondering why, you wonder wondering why ain't, ain't no good, ain't no good women on this earth knows cause you wicked. And you've been given a wicked woman. Well, ain't, 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 ain't no good, no, because you're a wicked woman. <laughs> ain't no good man. No, you're a wicked woman. And y'all deserve each other. A wicked woman shall be given is a portion of what? Give me that precept. Give me that. Y'all deserve. That's an equal balance, man. Right. That's a just balance, right? You wonder why he gave you six kids. Why you keep bumping into these niggas that give you. That's all that's out there. That's all. The most high, you think you got it. You think you know what's going on. He gave you five different kids by five different wicked men. Right? And none of them helped. 
He's getting you back, man. You slept down with the girl, you got up with them eight. I got it. He got you back. That's how these things play out on this earth, man. These spirits will trick you. You think you know what's going on. You thought you was just going to have a good fun tonight. You thought you was going to have a quick fling. And you laid down. Because the spirit knew that that nigga had AIDS. The spirit guided you to this man so he could give you AIDS. The spirit guided you to this woman so you, she can give you HIV. You see what I'm saying? The spirit will set you up, man. These spirits, man. Read that. Um... Sirach chapter 26, verse 23. Read that. A wicked woman is given a portion as to a wicked man. You see that? But a godly woman is given to him that feareth the Lord. And who gave him? You think you chose him. I chose this. No. That man was given to you for your portion. Mm -hmm. That woman was given to you because you wicked. So stop complaining and keep commandments, man. Watch this. Let's watch how the most high set people look. Man. This is one of my favorites. Look at this. Because this still happens to you. Oh. Hey. Now you think that was. Who do you think orchestrated that? The most high. The most high orchestrated that, man. That was that was precise. That was a work of art, man. That was beautiful, really, when you think about it. The timing, the damn, the circumference of the tire, mm. the damn angle. It was just set up so perfect, man. Let's watch it again. That was that was beautiful, <laughs> man. That was beautiful, man. Look at this, man. That's, that's better than Stephen Curry, man. All of a sudden, calamity fall upon you. He he'll, he'll get you back, man. <laughs> he'll get you. Will not escape. Hold on, because give me that. Is that Ecclesiastes eight and eleven? Because uh, because punishment against the evil. Yeah, yeah give me that. Give me that. Okay. Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes eight and eleven. Read that. Because sentence against an evil work. Because sentence against an evil work, read. Is not executed speedily. It don't happen right away. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Right, because you think you got away with it. So you think you think you're gonna keep the most high I'll let you stack those sins up. Mm -hmm. The next thing you know it, you're walking down the street on a regular day and the damn tire fall off a, a semi tractor and kill you. Kill you, man, in the middle of the street. It says such a man. Hey, give me that. See, this man, this man didn't fear the most high. Mm -hmm. So he got killed in the middle of the street. Give me that. Uh, the, the eyes of the Lord are ten times brighter than the sun. Give me that. Hold on, I need that. Give me that, Shanetta. The eyes of the Lord are ten times brighter than the sun. You got it. It's saying, uh, what my pocket? Yeah. Where your precept? Give me Cyrag 23 and 19. Start at 18. Cyrag 23 and 18. 23 and 18. Yeah. Sirach so chapter 23 Verse 18 Read that A man that breaketh wedlock Saying Thus in his heart Who seeth me Right see I, that? Mm -hmm. He said he think he getting away He said in his heart God don't see me Read I am compassed about with darkness the walls cover me, mm -hmm. and nobody sees me. Right. What need I to fear? Mm -hmm. The Most High will not remember my sins. Right. Such a man only feared the eyes of man. Right. This type of man is a foolish man. Read. 
And knoweth not the eyes of the Lord are ten thousand times brighter than the sun. No, he didn't see it. Ten thousand times brighter than the sun. Right, read. Beholding all the ways of men and oh. considering the most secret parts. Right, keep reading. It's going to show you how this man going to die. He know all things ere ever they were created. Uh -huh. So also after they were perfected, he looked upon them all. Uh -huh. This man shall be punished in the streets of the city. Read it again. This man shall be punished in the streets of the city. Read it one more time. This man shall be punished in the streets of the city. Now that's what just happened. We're going to watch it one more time. Watch this. many people got killed by loose tires I bet you it'll be a nice number man mm -hmm. I bet you it'll be a high number I watch this man hold on this dude look at that Let's watch one more. All oh, these are done from the most high. Didn't it say that such a man will be punished in the streets? Mm -hmm. Right? This is what happens when you don't obey commands. This is what happens when you think you're tricking God. Mm -hmm. This is what happens when you think that you, hey, you're smarter than the most high, man. Mm -hmm. But that's that spirit, man. On you, deceiving you, man. Fear the Lord, man. Let's watch one more. <laughs> Church, even the Christian church will tell you that he's an on-time God. Wait. He's an on-time God. Hey, man, that's perfect timing, man. Watch this, man. Tell me the most high didn't do that, Wait, man. I didn't see that. You didn't I didn't see it. Watch this, man. It's so fast. Watch this. Now, the world, the world will call it a freak accident. This is a work of art, man. Watch this. Watch it in the red spot on the ground. Watch 
the red spot. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch the red spot. Because your wickedness has reached the heavens, man. So That's, is that like the people getting shot down in the streets? Yeah, or you is get that shot. No, man, you get shot down. As you got shot down in the middle of the street, you was that man. Mm -hmm. That only you, the only feared man. Yeah. You, like, didn't, you didn't. You didn't know that the eyes of the Lord were ten times brighter than the sun. You thought the Most High wasn't paying attention to what you was doing. That spirit led you to believe that, hey, man, you smarter than the Most High. And then this app. Watch this. You got another question? Wait, I have a question. Go ahead. Let's watch this and get your preset. Oh. Now, was that a coincidence? Uh-uh. No. Was that a coinky dink? No. No. Was that happenstance? That's no. perfect. That's curry time. That's curry time seven thousand. <laughs> That's Curry. Hey, hey, the Most High got Splash Bros mm -hmm. from heaven that will send a tire from a semi and smack you dead in your face, man. That will, that will take a tree. Hey, man, sometimes they get you with lightning. You had a question, David? Go ahead. What's your question? So when when you're in the st street, didn't didn't get run over a car? That's the Most High. Get your precept. Uh, it's Proverbs one. Started at 23. Read that. It says, uh, Turn you at my reproof. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. Mm -hmm. I will make known my words unto you. Right. Because I have called and ye, re and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. Mm -hmm. But ye have set at night all my counsel. And with none of my reproof. Right. I also will laugh at your calamity. You see that? I will mock you when your fear comes. You see that? That's how that happened. Now watch this. I got one more. I like watching these things. It gets you uh it uh scared me. Yeah, man. It, you 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 the one when you learn who's doing it, you can develop a a fear for the most high. You know what I'm saying? Okay, it's on. Goodbye. Simon, Simon, say that so I can sit for you this week. Okay. You see? So he, bam. <laughs> so the most high, man. Look, man. 
and went through his head. The most hard. One more time. One more time. He gonna get up. Dang, that would have hurt it. <laughs> I wouldn't have stayed down. Chill, so you stop <laughs> being wicked. Right. He'd have been okay if he if he had stopped being wicked. Yeah. I was talking about cherry. 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 Yeah. yeah right, Cherry. She probably got lucky. One more time. And lightning stuff. Oh, oh my god. You see that? So give me that, Sonetta. It's a wrap. Give me that. Smoke. You got that? Yeah, uh, Luke 22 and 31. I want y'all looking for this. Luke chapter 22, verse 31. Read that. And the Lord said, Simeon, Simeon, behold, Satan have desire to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. So this is the spirits that be on men when they when they void of the truth. This this spirit is trying to lead you to a death like that. Right? But what? Read. Verse 32. But I have prayed for thee uh -huh. that thy faith fail not. Right. And when thou art converted, right. strengthen thy brother. Right. And the law, we know the law converts you. And when you when you get this understanding, when you get this truth, and when you give it to your brothers, man. You cast those demons out of your brother. That's what Yahweh Shai did. He cast that demon out of Simon Peter. Right, and then when Peter was converted, and he did the same thing to his brother. So when you see a brother with fringes keeping the commandments, when you see a sister with a hair wrap and a dress, being modest and humble and meek, hey, them demons is off of her. Them demons is off of him, and them demons been cast out. So that's how we cast out demons, man. Now let's go to the tongues. Give me back that. Give me uh Mark sixteen. Is that eighteen? 16 and 18? Give me that. Mark 16 and 18. Read that. They shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. Go back to uh, 17. 17. Uh -huh. And these signs shall follow them that believe. Right. In my name they shall cast out devils. Right. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall speak with new tongues. Now... Let's get this. What does that mean? Can anybody tell me what that means? What does that mean? Speaking, Speaking in new tongues. Speaking in new tongues. Does that does that mean uh, speaking the word? Yeah. That's what it means. Speaking speaking the word, but more specifically, it's the word of prophecy. That's the new tongue. It's that word of prophecy. We're going to give you that through the precepts. But watch this. This is what the world told us speaking in new tongues was. This is how we cast the demons out of our people. We expose the truth. Watch this. Watch this, y'all. That's what it teaches. Like a little tap that gets turned on um, and it's starting to drip well just on just let it flow you just open your mouth and let it say whatever it wants to say So now, you may have tried to stay up and fell behind. We're going to do it again. But this time, if you fall behind and you can't say the words, just make something up. Oh, Richard wow. Christ, Heavenly Father, Jesus, <laughs> Holy Spirit, we thank you and we praise you. We thank you for forgiving all our sins and putting us in perfect fellowship with you. Oh, Jesus, give us your Holy Spirit. Breathe on us now. And let us receive your Holy Spirit with the evidence of tongues. Breathe in and then just move your mouth and begin to speak in an unknown language. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus.
Este so come hand or the better tear at the room to put on Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Easy as that. Break the wheel. This is what they've done to our people. And I can go over there. I can go over there to my pop's house. He'll do this. I can go to my mom's house. She'll do that. Knowing that it's wicked. Knowing that it's fake. Knowing that when the pastor put his hands on your forehead, you, flayed, you, you fell on the ground and you played. In the middle of the church while the Most High was watching, you played church. And you knew it was fake and you still did it. And not only that, you taught your children. You taught us that that was the truth when you knew it was fake. That's wicked, man. That's wicked as hell, man. Right? And they tried to get me to do that shit. I never done it because I knew it was fake. I knew it wasn't right, man. I knew it wasn't right, man. Give me that, man. And, and to the wicked thou I said, what has thou to uh, declare my words? And give me, uh, give me Psalms 147 and 19. Ooh. What hast thou delivered? You got that, Shanetta? Psalms 50 and uh, 16. 50 and 16. 16. Yeah, give me that, okay. man. Give me that, man. And give me Psalms 147 and 19, and 19. man. Uh, Psalms 50, verse, uh, verse 16. Mm -hmm. But unto the wicked, God says, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes? And the white man is wicked, man. The Most High said, what are you doing with my Bible? Because this is what happens when he picks up the Bible. Mm -hmm. He does wickedness. This is how you speak in tongues. Fake it till you make it. I'm going to speak in the spirit and count of three. One, two, three. I'm speaking in the spirit. What the hell, man? Give me that. Psalms 147 and, and 19. 19. Read that. He showeth his word unto Jacob. Why? Right, he showed his word to Jacob, to your forefathers. And the father's going to pass that down to his son. Read. His statutes and judgments unto Israel. It's only been given to us. Read. He hath not dealt so with any nation. No, he dealt with the Edomites. He hath not dealt so with any nation. But, but Jesus loves everyone. He hath not dealt so with any nation. He's not dealing with these white scum, with these Japanese, with these Chinese, with these nasty Hamites, man. That's just how it is. He only gave it to Jacob. He only showed it to Israel. And as for their judgments, read. And as for their judgments, they have not known them. They don't know what's going on. They don't know what's going on. Now, let's, let's get how to speak in tongues. So everybody will know how to properly speak in tongues. Go to Acts 2 and 1. Let's see where it's first happened at. You got a question? Go ahead. It's, that's blasphemy, right? It's, 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 you lying on the Holy Spirit. So if you that, you saying the Holy Spirit did that, so and He didn't do that. You, you that's blasphemy. 
So if they teach it to you, that's still blasphemy. That's blasphemy. You you're lying on the Holy Spirit, right? Talking about the whole man, the Holy Spirit didn't do that. That unholy spirit did that. So Give me what that. About when they be making people fall out of the church. That's that's still unholy spirit. You know, that's actually the spirit of the Antichrist that they're dealing with. Mm -hmm. It's a lying spirit, man. And you you have to have the word of the Most High, the word of light and knowledge to come against that. Because if you don't know the precepts, what can you say against it? It's only the light that's going to expose that darkness. Give me Acts 2 and 1. Acts chapter 2 and verse 1. Read that. And when the day of, of Pentecost was fully come, right? they were they were all with one accord in one place. Who was the day? Give me Acts 1 and 2. Let's find out who the who the who the who the day was. Acts chapter 1 and verse 2. Read that. Until the day in which he was taken up, after that he through the Holy Ghost have given commandments unto the apostles. Unto the who? Unto the apostles. Like, so the uh they'll try to include themselves in this. When it was only Israelites there. And this promise of the Holy Ghost, that fire was only promised to the Israelites. Though that's that who the day were. Right? Gimme give gimme give verse five. Verse five. No, no, gimme give gimme give verse four. Four and five. Okay. Acts 1 and 2. Yeah, 1 and 4. Okay. Acts 1 and verse 4. Right. And being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem. Right, Yahweh Shah said, don't leave Jerusalem. Wait, wait for them. Read. But wait for the promise of the Father. Read. Which saith which he, ye have heard of me. Read verse 5. For John... Truly baptized with water. So John was baptizing people under the water, right? Read. But ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost. This is the baptized that we're baptized with. The not, spirit of fire. Read. Not many days hence. So that's what they was waiting on in Acts 2. The apostles. The, the Israelites. Now go back to 2 and read verse 2. Verse 2. And suddenly... There came a sound from heaven uh -huh. as a rush, rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were st sitting. Right, read. And there appeared them cloven tongues, like as a fire. Right. And it sat upon each of them. Read. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost uh -huh. and began and began to speak with other tongues. Right, so they got filled with this spirit of fire and they began to speak with other tongues. Read. As as a fire and it sat upon them. Reverse. Upon each of them. Reverse four. Verse four. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And began to speak with other tongues, as the Spirit gave them utterance. Read verse 5. And they were dwelling at Jerusalem, Jews, devout men. Who was the dwelling at Jerusalem? Jews. It was Jews. Jews. It was nobody else but Jews. Uh -huh. Read. Devout men. Devout men, like devout. us. Like us. Like the people that you see putting it down for the Most High. Devout. Uh -huh. Read. Out of every nation. Right, so they'll every... say that yeah, uh, Jesus coming for every nation. That's because we were scattered unto every nation. And you heathens helped scatter us. And you're gonna pay for that. So when you when you look in Canada, we're there. When you look in London, we're there in London in the slums. You're gonna find Jews there. If you look up the word Jew, it's gonna it's gonna show you the place, it's gonna say the ghetto. Mm -hmm. If you look up the word ghetto, I mean ghetto, right, right, that's what I meant. Ghetto is going to say the place where the Jews reside. Ghetto. Keep reading, Judah. Okay. And they were dwelling at Jerusalem, Jews, uh -huh. devout men out of every nation under heaven. Uh huh. Now, give me this, six. Now, when this was noise abroad, the multitude came, came together. And were confounded because that every man 
heard them speak in his own language. So this is what happens when you speak in a new tongue. Now these men were speaking, say, say that you were from China and you spoke Chinese. The spirit hopped on me and I began to speak Chinese. And it wasn't, it wasn't just that I was speaking Chinese. No, I was speaking prophecy to you. The men were able to prophesy to the other nations in their own particular tongue. Read that. Seven. And they were all amazed and marveled. Read verse six again. Verse six. Now when this was noise abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded. Wow. Because that every man, every man heard them speak in his own language. Heard them speak in his own language. Read. And they were amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are these not all Galileans, which speak which Galileans? Speak Galileans? Read. And how hear we every man in our own tongue wherein we are born? Right. So how is this man speaking? Today you would say, how is this man speaking Mexican? You see what I'm saying? But we're gonna we're gonna show you what 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 happens when the spirit hops on you. <clears throat> give me uh now, give me Acts two and fourteen. We're gonna show you what happened. Acts two and fourteen. Read. But Peter standing up with the eleven, lifted up his voice. Cause they thought they was crazy. Mm -hmm. They thought they was drunk. Read. And said unto and said unto them, You men of Judea, and all ye that dwell at. <clears throat> Jerusalem. So he had to uh, uh, he had to reassure them that these men are not drunk, right? Read. Be this no unto you. Hey, and, make this one thing clear. And hearken to my words. And listen up. For these are not drunken, right? As ye suppose. Read. Seeing it is, but the third hour of the day. It's only the third hour of the day. Read. But this is that which was spoken. By the prophet Joel. Right, so this was prophecy. So let's see what happens when you speak in new tongues. It's going to show you. Read. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith Yahweh. Read. I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Now, when this spirit comes upon you, this new tongue, what you going to do? And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. You shall what? You shall prophesy. Right, so it's not that mess that we just watched. It's the spirit of prophecy. Read. And your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Now, we're going to double down on that. Give me 1 Corinthians 4, 14 and 26. We're going to get it through the precept. 1 Corinthians 14, verse 26. Read that. How is it, then, brethren, brethren, when ye come together, every one of you hath a psalm, hath a doctrine, hath a tongue, hath, a, hath one of you hath a psalm, Half one of you have the doctrine, half one of you have the tongue, half one of you have a re revelation. Right, he said, how is it then, brother, when ye come together, everyone half a song, half a doctrine, half a tongue, half a revelation, half an interpretation, let all things be done to edify. You see that? So that's, when they were speaking, tell me how, tell, show me how this is edifying. We'll go back to that. You're going to have to show me how, how this is edifying. Go back to this. Front up and say, just be confident. Just be bold. Say, yes. Shaka ramadura. Yem bras sopriende. Manglo celebriasta. And once it starts, just let it flow. It's like a little tap that gets turned on. Now, let's go to the blue letter and look up the word edifying. Let's see what edify means. Okay, now we're gonna go to the blue letter. And G3619. Let's see what edify means. Look at that. Read that, Trinity. The act of building and building up. Now how is that building how is this building up anyone? Tell me how is this building me up? A little tap that gets turned on um, and it's starting to drip. Well, just turn it on a little bit more. Just let it flow. 
You just open your mouth and let it say whatever it wants to say. He's so foolish. I can't right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I, my question, read that again, I mean, Trinity. The act of building and building up. How is that building fine? How is that building us up? How is that building up the people? How is that? That's why when you go to church, you leave empty. Because that's all they give you is emptiness. You are not built up. They give you no understanding, no knowledge, no revelation. They give you no direction. You are not built up. Why? Right? Now let's go. Where were we? Go get that Judah again. 14 and it said, let all things be done unto edifying. Read 27. 14, 27? Uh-huh. Okay. 14 and verse 27. If any man speak in an unknown length tongue, let it be by two or at the most by three and that by course and let one interpret. Right, so if you're going to prophesy let it be two or three that agree. Mm -hmm. And let another man interpret or shut your damn mouth. Read. But if there be no interpreter, let him keep silence in the church. Read it again. And let him, let him keep silence in the church. Right. And let him speak unto himself and to God. Right. Let the prophet speak two or three and let the other judge. You see that? So this is the spirit of prophecy. What it's really saying to you on a spiritual level, if you're prophesying, then you must have two or three witnesses. Like what we're doing in the Bible. We're going through every precept. We're not just talking like they do in the church. We're backing everything up that we say with two or three witnesses. This is how you prophesy. This is the spirit that is upon his children, man. This is the promise that he gave us. And this is why they hate it. This is the advantage of being a Jew. Give me Romans 3 and 1. Give me Romans 3 and 1. This is the advantage of being an Israelite. Romans chapter... Give me that. You got it, Judah? Yeah. Read that. Romans chapter 3 and verse 1. Read that. What advantage then has the Jew? What advantage has the Jew? Right? To those who... What, what, what good is it being an Israelite? What advantage do you have? We're all one in Christ. No, we're not. Read. Or what profit is there of, circumc of circumcision? Right, the law. What profit is there of circumcision? Meaning the law. Read. Much every way, chiefly, because thou unto them were committed the oracles of God. The Most High gave us his word. He deli This is a precious thing, the understanding of it. The mysteries. The parables. The dark sayings, man. That's a beautiful thing, man. It's so beautiful. Now give me uh Matthew 18 and 6. 18 and 16. I got it. We're gonna show you the, the, the spiritual aspect of prophesying and the two or three witnesses. Not two or three men that agree with what you're saying. Or you need to go into the Bible and see if Ezekiel said it. Let's find out if John said it too. Right? Because it says, uh and Isaiah 8 and 20, give me that, Shanetta, real quick. Isaiah 8 and 20. Isaiah chapter 8, verse 20. Read that. Mm -hmm. To the law and to the testimony. You see that? That's two witnesses. Read. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. You see that? They lying. <laughs> they lying. They're lying. Read. Read that, Judah. Matthew 18 and 16. Read that. But if he will not hear then hear thee, then take with thee one or two more. Mm -hmm. That in the mouth of two or three witnesses every word may be established. That's how you establish. You need the mouth of two or three witnesses. And that's why we go precept upon precept. Line, line upon line. line hear a little, little and, and there a little. little. We prove what we're saying. Through the Bible, right? Give me uh. So that woman in the river that used to be at the back. She was a damn liar. Mm -hmm. Give me Romans one and seventeen. She was full of this. 
the flesh. Give me Romans 1 and 17. Uh, Romans chapter 1 and verse 17. Read that. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. You see that? That's what he did. He got a witness. He said, as it is what? For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. Right. As it is written. That's what you do when you prophesy. The just shall live by faith. You go to as it is written. You don't speak your own words, man. You don't make stuff up. You prove it through the precepts. You get two or three witnesses and you go as it is written. Give me Mark 4, 5, and 6. Watch this. Mark 5 and 6. 4, 5, and 6. 4, 5, and 6. Okay. And some fell on stony ground where it had not much earth. And immediately it sprang up because it had no depth of Is that earth. 4? Yeah. 5 and 6? Uh, Hold on, you got you got a question? Hold on real quick. Go ahead, Shanetta. So, <clears throat> so if you if you given like a dream, that's like a prophecy dream, so your witness can be, as long as you, that dream reflects Matthew. what's going on in the Bible again, is that kind of what you're saying? Or is you just saying, find two witnesses in the Bible? No, dreams have to be interpreted. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you would want to talk to somebody that's that's been proven that can interpret dreams. And he should be able to go into the precepts and even prove what, what your dream means. That's how dreams are interpreted. You just don't say, well, that means this and that means. If that man has revelation... He should, because dreams come into parables, similitude. That's how the Most High give you dreams. Mm -hmm. So in those dreams, they're, they're in the Bible. They can be interpreted interpreted through the Bible. That man, if he understand it, hey, when you're saying things, the word of wisdom is supposed to pop up. Oh, that's right here. This is what that means. It's a similitude for this. And he'll explain the dream through the precepts, and it will be plain. Like we did with the uh, woman, the old woman that was given, given we was walking by. And she had, she had a bag. It was who you say? No, we was walking and um, it was some fruit on the porch. Right. And we seen the fruit and, and we ate the fruit. Right. Uh, and the next day we came back and walked past her house again just to see if the fruit would be out there. And it was more fruit the next day. You see that? And what else? And so we did it again the third day and walked past, and then it was literally like baskets of fruit filled on the porch. So we broke that down through the spirit. Yeah. We broke that down through the spirit that the woman was wisdom and the fruit was wisdom in us. We went through the precepts. We we interpreted that dream. And we can see the we can see that dream come to pass. Because every day the most high got fresh manna for us. And every day he's got fresh fruit for us. Right? That we're eating from the tree of life, man. So give me uh give me Matthew 4 and 4 is what I wanted, Judah. Matthew. So cause we what you need to understand by the precepts that man can use the scripture and twist it. Mm -hmm. This is why you need to go precept upon precept. You need two or three witnesses. Because this is what they did with John 3.16. The devil did that. The devil took that one scripture and he said it was the whole world. But there is not another scripture that would back that. But we can go to Isaiah 45 and 17. We can go to John 18 and 20. We can go to Hebrews 13 and 1. We can go to uh we can go to number six. Right? We can go to pretty please precepts to prove who that world is. Why right? give me that, Judah? We'll show you that the devil can take one scripture and twist it. This is what happened when you don't have a witness. Matthew 4 and verse 4. Read that. But he answered and said, It is written. Man shall not live by bread alone. Right, this is what Yahweh was shot told. But by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Okay, read. Out of the mouth of Yahweh. So he's 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 having a conversation with the devil. Read. Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city uh -huh. and setteth him on the pinnacle of the temple. Read. And saith unto him, If thou be the son of God, cast thyself down. 
boy's ring. You see what the devil said? He just brought out a precept. Read. For it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up. Lest and at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Right, and you'll you'll find people, you'll find demons, devils, using the word of God the wrong way. Cause watch Yahweh Shah correct them. Yahweh Shah said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy thy God. Right, so he was using that precept all wrong. Mm -hmm. You don't cast yourself off a damn mountain to see if the the angels gonna protect you. That's not how that precept went. Then the Most High said to them that obey. Let's go. Let's get that in, in Psalms 91. Let's get that. What did Yahweh Shah, what, what did the Most High say in Psalms 91? Because there was conditions to that. Give me Psalms 91. And mm -hmm. one. Psalms 91 and one. Read that. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So what's the secret place of the Most High? His, his wife. His yeah, wife. Yeah. So, so this man is keeping the commandments. And one commandment that he knew that Yahweh Shah brought out is what? What Yahweh Shah tell him? Not to tempt the Lord. So you, if you're tempting the Lord, you're not, you, you, you jump off a damn cliff if you want to. <laughs> And see what happened. And the devil knew that. Right? So it shows you that the word of God can be taken and twisted. But if you got that two or three witnesses, you got the prophets backing you up. That's a sure word. That's a sure word, right? Give me a... Now, let's go into what the new tongues are. Who, who up next? I am. Gracie, give me that. Watch this. Let me show you when the spirit of prophecy come upon us. And how it came upon us. Because it came upon the uh, the apostles on the day of Pentecost. But let me show you how it comes upon you. Give me 1 Samuel 1, chapter 10, verse 6. And the spirit of the Lord will come upon thee, uh -huh. and thou shalt prophesy with him. Right. And shall be turned into another man. You're going to be turned into another man. Read. And let it be when these signs are come unto thee. Right. That thou do as occasion serve thee. You see that? So now go back. Go back to Mark 16 and 17. Let me show you. Read that again one more time, Trinity. Grace. Gracie. And the spirit of the Lord will come upon thee. Right. And thou shalt prophesy with them. Uh-huh. And shall be turned into another man. Read. And let it be when these things are come. When these thee. what? When these when these signs. When are these come. what? When these signs. When these signs. Read that, Jasper. And these Mark 16 and 17. Read and that again. And these signs and shall, these what? And these signs. And these what? And these, and these signs. signs. Read. Shall follow them that believe. Read. In my name shall they cast out devils. Uh-huh. They shall speak with new tongues. Uh-huh. That's all I need on that. Now go back to that, Trent Gracie. Read and, verse 6. And the spirit of the Lord will come upon me. Uh-huh. And thou shalt prophesy. You with shall me. what? Prophesy shall. with him. Read. And shall be turned into another man. Read. And let it be when these signs are come unto thee. That thou do as occasion serve thee. Right, so this is that sign. This is that sign that the Spirit is upon you. You begin to prophesy. Right? Now give me uh let's see what that is. He says, You shall be turned into another man. Meaning what? Give me Jeremiah 17 and 9. Jeremiah 17 hey, and 9. Hey, that was mine. No, you got you got 8 and 17. Read that. The heart is deceitful above all things. Now what's the what's 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 the new? How do you be changed into another man? Read that again. The heart is deceitful above all things. Right. And desperately wicked. 
who can know it? The heart is the mind. If you didn't know, a lot of people say they feel in my heart and they go like this on their chest. But they never even understand through the precept you learn, your heart is your mind. Mm -hmm. It's not in your chest. So when it says that you will become another man, is you're going to have a change of mind. You're going to have a change of heart. You're going to think differently. That's what this spirit does. It converts you. To be converted means that you were once this, now you're changed into something else. Right? That's what did you changed into another man. Your mind thinks differently. Give me uh, Syrac 37 and 13. Syrac 37 and 13. Read that. And let the counsel of thine own heart stand. Read that again. And let the counsel of thine own heart stand. The Bible says, let the counsel of thine own heart stand. Why? Because 9 out of 10, the Most High doesn't told you the right thing to do. You see that? The Most High tell you, don't he tell you the right thing to do? Mm -hmm. He tell you the right thing to do. But what? We don't choose that. Read. For there is no man more faithful unto thee. That spirit within you, right? Read. Then it. Read. For a man's mind is sometime wont to tell him more than seven watchmen. You see that? And they call that schizophrenia. Read that again. For a man's mind. For a man's mind, his heart. Read. It's sometimes. It's sometimes. Won't to tell him more than seven watchmen. Wants to tell him as seven watchmen. That means that say you got seven men on the tower. And you got one man saying, I see this. You got other man looking there. I see it this way. And another man, seven different men seeing it seven different ways. That's these spirits in your mind. Telling you to do all these They call it schizophrenia mm -hmm. This literally on our people Spirits mm -hmm. Cause why The mind is wicked It's wicked You got one spirit telling you to do this Then another spirit say Scratch that Let's do it this way Then another spirit say Scratch that Then you mix them all up And destroy your damn life man But the spirit of the most high Gonna tell you to do one thing man. It's gonna be plain There's gonna be clarity Right let me, let's get that. Uh, Nehemiah 4 and 6. Nehemiah. Nehemiah you 4. Print, hold on. I was just going to say something. Like uh, like when people cold and they stop breathing. Mm -hmm. um, and even if they heart stop or whatever, the reason they be trying to hurry up and get their heart beating again is so they can get oxygen back to the mind mm. or to the brain. Because right. if the brain go without the oxygen, like the heart can go longer than the brain can go. I never really thought about that until you just said that. Right. But do you know they say after a person dies, they still got brain activity going on? Mm -hmm. How? That's them damn spirits mm -hmm. stealing that man. Spirit still in his mind. Still in his mind working on it. Still on his damn conscience, man. The soul, the soul is, is going back up to the most high. The damn working on his damn conscience still, man. Somehow. Give me a... Give me a... Nehemiah 4 and 6. Let's see what this mind, this mind is going to put in me. Nehemiah 4 and 6. This new heart, this new mind being re made a new man. Read. So built we the wall. You're going to start building a temple. When the spirit, the spirit, this spirit comes upon you, you're going to start building your people back up. Read. And all the wall was joined together. Read. Unto the half thereof. Uh-huh. For the people had a mind to work. They had what? A mind to work. So your heart is going to be put towards your people. Your heart is going to be changed. You're going to see the condition of your people and you're going to want them to rise up. You're going to want the, you're going to do the labor. You're going to see it clearly, man. Why? You're not going to spend your time on damn BT. You're not going to be watching basketball wise or Atlanta House. We don't have time to watch that, man. We don't have time to go to the basketball game or do this. We don't have time to waste with, with, with unfruitful children. Why? Right? It's only time for the work because there's too many people that's dependent on you. Right? The most high is dependent on you. The angels are watching. You got a cloud of witnesses watching you. It's game time. You got people, you got, you got the elders watching you. Why you think nobody's watching and there's a cloud of witnesses? Watching you do that 
Give me a. Uh, Give me that. First Corinthians 14 and 21 to 22. Read that. In the law, it is written with man of Hold other on. tongues. Hold on. I wanted you to go back. Yeah, yeah. Give me that. Give me that. Let me show you something about when you get this new mind and this new heart. A lot of people not going to accept you. They're going to think you that you, they going to think you still that old man. They're not going to honor you. They're not going to respect what you're doing. Right? They still going to have them limitations on you. You hear me? They're going to see you as little old you that they always seen you, but you're literally a new person. You literally got the spirit of the most high within you. Come. Read. 1 Corinthians 14 and 21 through 22. Read that. In the law, it is written with man of other tongues and other lips will I speak unto to this people. Right. And yet for all that will. They not hear me. Why? Because the Lord. they give the most high gave it to your brothers mm -hmm. and your sisters. And you don't want to hear your brother and your sister talk. Why? Because they'll never be nothing to you. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you hate yourself. And when you see them, you see yourself. Mm -hmm. You hate you hate them, too. So when they come with the words, with this prophecy, with this sure prophecy, when they show up upon precept upon precept, even though you know it's true, you'll still reject it. Why? Because it's coming out of the mouth of somebody that looks just like you. Then you go home and turn on a white preacher and you say, this is this is God. Sure. Then you speak in those wicked tongues. You You do that. You do that when we showed you what the speaking in tongues is. Right? You wicked, man. All people wicked as hell, man. Spirit is stupid. You see that? So give me uh, verse 22. Wherefore, tongues are for a sign. Right? Not to them that believe. Read. But to them that believe not. Read. Not prophesying, serve it not for them uh -huh. that believe not, but for them which believe. So every time you see them new tongues, you're going to see prophecy. Because that's what that means. Right? And prophecy is for those that believe. Right? Because they understand the prophecies. Give me uh, Give me 1 Samuel 10 and 9. Watch this. Let's link it all together. First Samuel nine and twelve. And then ten. Ten. ten and nine. Ten and nine through twelve. First Samuel ten nine through twelve. Read that. And it was so that when he had turned his back to go from Samuel, God gave him another heart. Uh huh. It's that new heart, that new mind, that mind to work. Read. And all those signs came to pass that day. Uh huh. And when they came, and that's the sign. The spirit of prophecy was on. Read. And when they came thither to the hill, behold, a company of prophets met him. What? Uh -huh. And the spirit of God came upon him, and he prophesied among men, among them. And it came to pass when all that knew him before time saw that behold. Read verse eleven again. And it came to pass. When all that knew him before time saw that before the whole. Read verse 10. And when they came thither to the hill, behold, a company of prophets met him. A what? A company of prophets met him. And that's what happened in your life today. You meet a company of prophets. We met it via internet. That's how we came upon the prophets. That's how we began prophesying. We met a company of prophets. And I will name those men, but I don't like to name names. But we was literally searching on, on YouTube for a trip. We were going to uh, go visit Israel, right? We, we was at our end. We was at our end. We said, hey, man, we need to go to the Holy Land, man. We need to go over there for about three days, do like a three-day fast, man, and just, and just see. Because it was going to be that or everything. It was going to be that or nothing. That's where we was at. That's where I was at. Like, this is my last chance, man. This is my, this, I'm finna try this. I tried the church. I tried, I tried, I tried the streets. I tried everything. Maybe we need to go to Jerusalem. Let's try that. Maybe the answer's there. So we started searching for trips. And every trip that we seen to Jerusalem was full of white people. 
And everybody knows how you feel when you're the only, we the only brother, sister around a group full of white people. I'm not finna pay three to five thousand dollars to be feeling like a nigga uh -huh. in front of these damn, all these damn white people, man. So we start searching for black trips to Israel. Black trips to, to Israel. Israel. And guess what popped up? Black <laughs> Hebrew <laughs> Israelites. <laughs> Though that's not their name, but the Most High led us to the company of prophets. And guess what? We begin to prophesy. We sat there and binge watched day after day after day. I'm looking to try to find if this stuff is wrong. It's got to be wrong. It's got to be wrong. They, gotta, they twisted it. I know it. I know it. Oh, right again. I never knew that was there. I said, whoa. And we began to slowly prophesy. Right? And then when we sing, I say, I sing, it says, Hebrew Israelite shuts down pastor against pastor. I'm like, I know this pastor finna put him in his place. You know what I'm saying? Let me see that. Hey, and then they shut down the pastor. <laughs> I was in stone. It was over. Right. I went berserks. Yeah. I had I told everybody who I knew. <laughs> hey man, then they hated me for that, man. But hey, let's get back to it. Get get a verse. What was you at? A company of prophets. Read that. And when they came thither to the hill, behold, a company of prophets met him. Right. And the spirit of God came upon him. And what happened? And he prophesied. You among see them. that? And we begin to prophesy. Read. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass when all that knew him before a time saw that behold, he prophesied among the prophets. You see that? So this is what happens when you begin to prophesy. All those that knew you before. Read that. Then the people said one to another, What is this that is come unto the son of Kish? Why is that Shanetta on YouTube? Holding a Bible class? Who does she think she is? Who does she who does she think she is? Who does he think he is? Right? Your your people get offended at you. Your immediately family and some of the brothers and sisters that you came up in the truth that you begun with. Right? If the most high are dealing with you to where you understand it, you're going faster. Hey, your, your own brothers in this truth gonna get offended at you. Who, who this nigga think he is? Going to revelations, man. Going to revel. They got offended at, at, at Saul. Why? Because what he was saying, the spirit that was on, the boldness. Right? Read. Is Saul also among the prophets? Who this nigga? He ain't no prophet. Read. <laughs> And one of the same place answered and said, But who is their father? Who is it? I know this nigga father. <laughs> Read. Therefore it became a proverb. Is Saul also among the prophets? You see that? So they was astonished, man. Why? Because the most high, that's what he do. Why give me uh give me first Corinthians one and twenty seven. And give me Psalms one thirty eight and six. First Corinthians one and twenty seven. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread. First Corinthians 1 and 27. First Corinthians 1 and 27? Yeah. Okay. Bring it out. You get Psalms 138 and 6. First Corinthians chapter 1 verse 27. Read that. But God hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. You see that? He, he used the people. Oh, that's just... That's just Judah. That's just Jasper. Right? They, they ain't really nobody. Read it again. <laughs> but God have chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. That's the people who we choose. Because he's close to the low. He's close to the meek. Huh. He's right there with the downtrodden and the brokenhearted, man. Mm -hmm. He's right there with the people of a contrite spirit. The very people that you stepped on. The very people that you that you that you always think nothing of, he's right with those people. Mm -hmm. Right? Give me Psalms 138 and 6. Psalms 138 and 6. Read that. Though the Lord be high. Though the Lord be high. Yet hath he respect unto the lowly. You see that? The most high have respect for the low. Read. But the proud he knoweth afar off. You see that? He's going to put the spirit on that proud, on the proud. He's going to put that wicked spirit on the proud, man. 
but he respect the lowly man. He see you in your condition. He see you being stepped on. He see, see you the only one out of your family that they hate. That's what he chose. Look, look, look how he chose David. David's father didn't even mention him to some to, to Samuel. Yeah. You see that? Samuel had to ask, man, man, don't you, you you gotta have another son. Right? David's father said, hey, this is my son right here, the tall one. He's got him. This this the one I love. And that's how it be. Yeah. Your family, your father, your mother will pick favorites, but they not the one that the most high pick. Right? The most high picked you, right? Because you, you, you the one, you the outcast. You the lowly. To confound what? The wise. The ones they said they was going to be the smartest. The ones they said was going to be somebody. They're nothing. And the ones they said was never going to be nothing. The most high used them to confound the wise. Mm -hmm. That's how this thing go, man. So what? They're going to be offended at you when you get up and start prophesying. Right? When you confound them. Give me that. Exodus 3 and 1. Let's 3 and 11. Have them precepts ready. Give me that, Judah. Exodus 3 and 11. You get the next one. You got it? Read. Exodus 3 and 11. Read that. And Moses said unto God, Who am I that I should go unto Pharaoh, and that I should bring forth the children of Israel out of Egypt? He said what? And Moses said unto God, Who am I? You see that? He was a lonely heart. What was it saying, man? Don't you got somebody else to do it? And that's how a lot of people that get chosen this thing, they didn't, I didn't want to get chose for this. This is not the plan that I had. I'm not trying to exalt myself. I, I, I had a different plan. And it had nothing to do with, 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 with going through the prophecies. It had more than money making plan. I was going to stack it up and flip it. Then flip it one more time. That was my plan. Right? I didn't think I was qualified for this. And a lot of times I still don't think I'm qualified for this. But the most high said, he, you got to do it or he's going to confound you. You got to do it. And I'm not finna be confounded. So I'm going to do it. Read it again. And Moses said unto God, who am I that I should go into Pharaoh? Right. And that I should bring forth the children of Israel you, out of Egypt. You see that? That contrite heart, man. That humble heart, man. Didn't it say Moses was the humblest man alive? Mm -hmm. You see? Give me Psalms. No, give me Matthew 13 and 53. Let me show you. Let me show you the offense, man. When you begin to stand up and prophesy, man. Get that. You got that, Trini? Yeah. Read that. Matthew 13 and 53. Read that. And it came to pass that when Jesus had finished these parables, he departed thence. Right. And when he and when he was come into his own country. He came to his own people. Read. He taught them in their synagogue. Right. I so much that when they were astonished, he said, Whence hath this man this wisdom? You see that? How did he get this wisdom? Read. In these mighty works. Uh-huh. Is not this the carpenter's son? You see the same thing. Right. The same thing they said about Saul. Don't we know his father? Mm -hmm. That's what they'll say about you. Mm -hmm. I know, I know, I know her mother. I know, I went, I knew you. Didn't you go to that one church? <laughs> I know you from such and such church. <laughs> No, no, no. I used to sit right there. I know you. I know you. Right. I know you from such and such church. You offended. Read. Is not his mother called Mary? I know your mother. Read. Mm -hmm. And his brethren, James. Right. And Joseph. Right. And Simeon and Judas. Read. And his, his sisters, are they not with, all with us? Mm-hmm. Whence then hath this man all these things? How was he proper son? I went to school with that nigga. I was in jail with that nigga. He used to sell dope. Or he used to mess with such and such. I know her. I know her. She used to go so and so. Right? But what? And they were offended in him. Right? But Jesus said unto them, A prophet is not without honor, saith in his own country. Right, so that's one thing that you gotta know about this truth. It's gonna be hard as hell to say the ones around you. They're gonna be always looking for a way, a reason, a way to discredit you. That's what they was trying to do. They was trying to find some type of familiar sense or sensation to make them feel like Yahweh Shah was normal. I know his father. I know his sister. He's not, he, he not that great. He, he, no, no. You see, they could, they, they, they can't, they can't, 
They can't, man. They can't just get it in their mind, man. That hey, maybe this man is great. Maybe, maybe this, maybe this daughter is great. You feel me? It's that self hatred. It's that curse of Deuteronomy where you can't see somebody that look like you and say, "Hey, man, they're great in the Lord, man. They've been given a word of wisdom." Yeah, how was Shaz dealing with them? Nah, they going off. It's a matter of time before they fall out the truth. That's hatred. And you still under the curse, man. That's hatred. And that's how we look at one another, man. It's got to not. No, let's move on, man. To me? Give me Revelations 14 and 1. What about that's you, Shanetta? <laughs> Give me that. Give me Revelation 14 and 1. Let's see what this prophecy sounds like. What about Jeremiah? We're going to get that in a little bit. <laughs> Revelations 14 and 1. Give me that, Shanetta. Revelations chapter 14, verse 1. Read that. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on Mount Sion, and with him 144,000. Read. Having his father's name written in their foreheads. Uh -huh. And I heard a voice from heaven, as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of a great thunder. Right. And I heard the voice of harpers harping in their hearts. Uh -huh. And they sung as it were a new song. Hey, this is that new tongue. This that new tongue. They sung what? They sung as it were a new song. Why? Because you never heard this song before. Read. Before the throne. Uh huh. And before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the 144,000 which problems. were redeemed from the earth. Now give me Psalms 149 and 1. Let's sing this song, man. It's like we never get to sing this song. What? We're going to sing it. Let's see what the song sounds like. Is that in the Bible song? No. Songs. 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 Read that, you know. 149. 149. 149. 149. Psalms 149 and 9. And 1. And 1. So like you. Praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song. This is that new tongue. This is the song that they don't want to hear. Read. And his praise in the congregation of saints. Right. Let Israel rejoice in him that mm -hmm. made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with the tremble and harp. Right. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautif beautify the meat with salvation. Uh -huh. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth. Right. And a two-edged sword in their hand. Now, this is the good part of the song. I was getting good. Mm -hmm. two, you got a two-edged sword in your hand, read. <laughs> to execute vengeance upon the heathen. Right. And punish. Hold on, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I thought everybody gonna be saved. No, to ex execute vengeance upon the heathen. Right. And punishment upon the people. Uh-huh. To bind their kings with chains. Uh -huh. And their nobles with fetters right. with iron. To execute upon them the judgment written. Read verse eight again. To to bind their kings with chains so they ask us why 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 are you preaching against esau didn't david command that get uh get get verse six uh verse six let the high praises of god be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand david said do this who am i who am i to disrespect my forefather if David said do it, I'm going to do it. Oh. He said do it. Read. Read verse 8. Verse 8. To, act, uh, to bind their kings with chains. So we're singing this song. We're telling them that they're going into captivity. Revelation 13, 9 and 10. Oh. We're telling them Exodus 21 and 15, 16. Why? We're telling them uh, Colossians 3 and 25. We're telling them the judgment written. We're singing this song. Like David said, sing. Read. And their nobles with fetters of iron uh -huh. to execute upon them the judgment written. Right. This honor have all his saints. Praise, Praise you, Lord. the Lord. Right. So now give me no. go back. Go back to Matthew 6 and 17. We'll get this last one and then we'll finish up. What about mine? You about to get yours. Matthew okay. 6. No, Mark 6 and Mark, Mark 6. 16 and 16. All right, that's what we was at. That's, what that's we was at, one right? of my favorite. 
precepts. <clears throat> Mark 16 and 17. Oh, okay. Shanetta, you give me, Dave, you give me Jeremiah 8 and 17. Okay. Um, Mark 16 and 17. And these signs shall follow them that believe. Right. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. Right. They shall take up serpents. They shall what? They shall take up serpents. Uh-huh. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. Right. They shall they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Right, so let's get to take up serpents serpents real quick. I won't let's watch this real quick. Let's see what they think this means. Down to declare my statutes. Paraphrasing. Because this is what happens when the heathen gets the Bible. He doesn't understand that this is a parable. He don't understand that you shouldn't pick up a venomous steak and play with it, man. He don't understand that, man. Common sense will tell you, do not play with a venomous steak. No snake, whatever. He's the only thing that cannot be tamed. You can't tame a serpent. Don't play with snakes, man. But he thinks this is what this scripture is saying. cross, man. Why uh, a wicked man are uh, 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 similar to the snakes? They crafty. You see how like a dog will bite you, will keep biting. You. A snake knows it only needs to bite you once. You see that? You see how the snake is not a, that, that cut off? Yeah. A snake knows he only he only has to bite you once, right? So give me uh. And he kind of looked at him, and he looked at the snake before he bit him. Did yeah, you see that? yeah, I seen that. So uh, give me uh, give me that, David. We'll, we'll finish that. Oh, Is it, you're up, Jeremiah eight and seventeen. That's Jeremiah chapter eight and verse seventeen. It's your chance, son. It's your it's your time to shine. Read. For behold, I was sent precepts, serpents, serpents. Cock, cockatrices, cockatrices among you, uh -huh. 
and which will not be charmed. Be charmed. Charmed. But they shall bite you. Right, so what said does that the mean? World. What does that mean? The most I'll read that again. So now give me Jer who got Jeremiah <laughs> eight and seventeen. Give me that. For behold, I will send serpents, cockatrices among you, uh -huh. which will not be charmed, and they shall bite you. Why? Because the most high said in what? He said in Mark 16 and 18. Give me that real quick. Mark 16 and 18. They shall take up serpents. Uh huh. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. Now go back to Jeremiah 8 and 17. It says in these signs. These serpents, if you take them up, they shall not harm you. Now, the serpent was sent to do what? Watch this. For behold, I will send serpents, cockatrices among you, which will not be charmed. You can't, cause you can't charm a snake. You can't, you can, you can damn, you can, that means you can't tame them. You can take a lion, you can kind of tame them. You can teach them to jump through hoops. You can teach an elephant to stand on his back feet. See what I'm saying? You can teach all these different animals. You can teach a tiger. Why? You cannot chain a, a snake. You can have a snake for 15 years, and one day that snake will eat you. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden. It, you can look on YouTube. You, it will not be charmed. Right? So what is it talking about? We're telling you that the Bible kept talking about parables. Who is this snake that can't be charmed? Give me Deuteronomy 28 and, and 49. We're going to watch this. Oh, Deuteronomy 28 and 49. Okay, I got it. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse... Wait. 49. Okay, 49. Mm -hmm. And the Lord shall bring a nation and get against thee from far. Uh -huh. From the end of the earth. As, as swift, the, as the eagle, flitteth, flying, right? Flieth, a nation, lose tongue, thou shalt not understand. Uh huh. Read. In fifty. Uh huh. A nation of fierce, fierce continents, continents, right? Which shall not regard. regard the person of the old nor, nor shoe favor to fail you to the young to the young you see that now read that shanetta let's see what that means this is that snake this is the snake that we just read in uh jeremiah 8 and 17. jeremiah 8 and 17. yeah read that jeremiah chapter 8 verse 17. For behold, I will send serpent cockatoos among you, which will not be charmed. Now let's watch this. Because you can't charm these devils. Watch this. They don't wanna they don't wanna let me play it, but watch this. <laughs> Shit, man. What's your name, bro? What's your name, man? What's your name? 
Hey, bitch ass police. Hey, bitch. Hey, bitch ass cop. What's your name? I bet you feel good. You might as well come here and take. Now she's going through this because she's breaking the command. She want to be a man. Oh. So the Most High sent this serpent against her to bite her. Now watch this. And he can't. He will not be charmed. Mm -hmm. Watch this. <laughs> Raise his ass cup, you fucking prick ass bitch. Yeah, you want to hit me all the fucking right? I hope your kids burn in hell. I hope your mama burns in hell. I hope your wife burns in hell. I hope your dick burns in hell, you fucking pussy. You fucking racist ass redneck ass bitch. You never gonna live to see 90, bitch. You're gonna live to see tomorrow, nigga. You fucking racist ass. Hold on. Y'all look at Please help me out. I'm sorry. Please, officer. Officer, please, I beg you, please lift me up. Please, can you lift me up, please, officer? Officer, please, please lift me up. Please, officer. It hurts so bad. It hurts so bad. So, hold on. Let's get one more. Give me, uh, I'm finna show you one more, hold on. I'm gonna post it on social. Yeah, that's what we wanna watch this. See, this this devil, he's not gonna be, uh, he's not gonna be charmed. Watch this. <laughs> No matter how much you say please, like a normal man, a normal beast, you can say please and they'll have sympathy. But we know snakes are cold blooded. You cannot charm a snake. Once he got his mind made, once he got that raider locked in, that he's gonna kill, he's gonna put his venom, and he need to eat, he need to hunt, he's gonna kill. And he's not gonna be charmed, man. No matter how many times you say please, hey, he's, his mind is set. Watch this. Relax. I can't breathe, my face. Just get up. Come on. Come on. What do you want? I can't breathe. Please leave my face. Get up, get in the car, man. I will. Get up, get in the car. I can't move. I've been writing the whole car. Get up, get in the car. Come on. Get up, get in the car, right? I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hear the coon? You hear the black moon tell him, the black man tell him to get up? That's hatred. You should have pushed that cop off your brother. I don't care what happened. You should have pushed that cop. You see him visually killing your brother and you telling him to obey. Oh, you should, oh just obey the cop. Just do what he say. He said, I can't do nothing. They got my legs. They got my, they got my neck. They got everything. And yet you got your own brother hating you, telling you to obey the cop. This is that spirit that's on our people, man. This is the same spirit that has your, your mama hate you. Your father hate you. Your sister hate you. This is the curses of Deuteronomy, man. Do you see that? Listen. You can't get your to get in, bro. I told you, you can't win. My knee. You can't win, man. I'm through. I know you have never even listened. Just uh, over it. My stomach hurts. My neck hurts. Everything hurts. 
God, there's water or something. Please. And you need water when you're about to die. Now watch this fake snake with this. You know, okay. snake, it, it, it was just recorded like that. Watch this, listen. Hold on. What I said on that, right? So we got one more. Hold on, hold on. Snake. He said they will not wow. show no favor to young nor old. Watch this. A video posted on social media shows a Baytown, Texas police officer firing five shots after struggling to arrest a 45-year-old woman. Nikki Batiste is covering this still unfolding story and joins us at the table. The video we've seen so far is very disturbing. It's extremely. A cell phone video begins as the officer confronts the woman. As she moves away from the Baytown officer, he pulls out his taser and fires. The woman continues to struggle with the officer as she falls to the ground, at one point telling him she's pregnant. She then, according to police, gains control of the officer's taser, turning it on him. That's when he fires his gun at the woman five times. See she that? was pronounced dead at the... You see that? So these serpents, these serpents that the Most High sent against you, they're not going to have charm. But it says, yeah, I was shy. He said he want to give you power over these serpents. That's the power that we have. That's the you need power over these servants. It says in the, that the heathen shall envy thee, but shall not be. Give me that before I jack it up. Give me that. In the heathen, it's in apocryphal. apocryphal. I think it's in uh, Sirach chapter two, if I'm not mistaken. Right. Yeah, yeah. Second Ezra's two and twenty-eight. Yeah, two and twenty-eight. That's it. Recap. Second Ezra's two and twenty-eight. The heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, saith the Lord. You see that? So that's the power that the Most High given us against these serpents. Give me Genesis 3 and 1, Shanetta. <laughs> Genesis chapter 3, verse 1. Right. Now the serpent was more subtile. Than, he was what? He was more subtile. Right. Than any beast of the field. Right. Which the Lord gave. Uh, which the Lord God had made. Right, so let's see something about this serpent. Let's look up here. When you look up the word subtile, let's see what that means. Read that, Trinity. Crafty. Subtile, shrewd. Shrewd. Crafty. Crafty. Sly. Sly. Sensible. That's what, that's what serpent means. A shrewd, sly, crafty type of individual. Mm -hmm. It's just like when somebody do you wrong, what you call them? You say, you a snake. You a snake. That's what this, you got to understand, this whole thing been about parables. This whole thing been about us having the words of the Most High, not the heathen. So this man is, a, this man that the Most High is going to send, send against you, he going to be crafty. He going to be shrewd. He going to be sly, right? That's, how, that's the man that he's going to send you. And he's going to be deceptive. Give me Genesis 3 and 14, Shanetta. Genesis chapter 3, verse 14. Read that. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle. Right. And above every beast of the field. Read. Upon thy belly thy shalt go. Uh-huh. And the dust, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. Verse 14? Mm -hmm. Give me 13. Verse 13. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is it that thou hast done? Right. And the woman said to the, uh, to the serpent, And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me. The serpent what? The serpent beguiled me. So the serpent is a deceiver. Mm -hmm. 
He's deceptive. That's what happened. That's these, these, and, and give me uh, Romans 1 and 25. Give me Romans 1 and 25. Romans 1 and 25. Read that. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? That's what these serpents do. That's what these serpents, that's what these deceivers do. They change the truth of God into a lie. We've seen that through too many examples. White and the most powerful example they, they made was Caesar Borgia. Mm -hmm. White Jesus. They changed the truth of Yahweh into a lie. Read. Who changed the truth of God into a lie mm -hmm. and worshiped and served the creature Esau. more than the creator? You see that? Esau did that. Mm -hmm. Esau did that. Now give me Re Re Revelations 12 and 9. Let's wrap this up. Revelations chapter 12 and verse 9. Verse 9. Read that. And the great dragon was cast out. What? Was cast out, that old serpent. You see that? That what? That old serpent. So the dragon is the serpent. Read. Called the devil. He's the devil. And Satan. And Satan. Which did, which deceived the whole world. What did he do? Deceived the whole world. Who deceived the whole world? Esau, why Jesus? Huh? He's everywhere. Why Jesus is everywhere, right? Let's prove that. Give me Revelation 12 and 1. We're going to prove it through the precepts. That's what we do. Revelation chapter 12, verse 1. Read. And there appeared a great wandering heaven. Read. A woman clothed with the sun. Give me, uh, give me Isaiah 54 and 5, Jasper. Let's see who this woman is. Four and five. Read that. For thy maker is thine husband. Thy maker is thine husband. So it's talking to a woman. Read. The Lord of hosts is his name. Uh huh. And thy redeemer, the holy one of Israel. The who? The holy one. And thy redeemer, the holy one of Israel. So Israel is that woman. Read. Mm -hmm. The God of the whole earth. Uh huh. Shall he be called? Right. Keep going. Mm -hmm. For the Lord hath called thee as a woman forsaken and grieved in spirit. You see that? Israel. Keep read. Read to uh I want you to read to eight, verse eight. Okay. For the Lord hath called thee as a woman forsaken and grieved in spirit. Mm -hmm. And a wife of youth. Mm -hmm. When thou was refused, saith thy God. Right. For a small moment have I forsaken thee. Right. But with great mercies will I gather thee. You see that? So it's all going to come back to Israel. Read. In a little wrath I hid my face from thee for a moment. Right. We've been punished for a moment. A short time was this devil released. Read. But with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee. Now go back to that. Shanetta, Revelations 1. Revelations 12 and 1. Read that. And there appeared... Great wonder in heaven. A woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet. The sun and the moon is wisdom and knowledge. It's light. Understand. That's Israel. He showed his word unto Jacob. Jacob. His statutes and commandments. His statutes unto Israel and judgments unto Israel. He has not dealt so with any other nation. So Israel has this light. Read. And the moon under her feet. Right. And upon her head a crown of twelve stars. The twelve tribes of Israel. Read. And she being with child cried, travailing in birth. Uh-huh. And pain to be delivered. Right. She's about to bring forth a child. Who is that child? Yahweh Shai. Right. Read. And there appeared another wander in heaven. And behold, a great red dragon. Now who is this dragon? We showed you. Esau. Esau. So we know that this dragon... It's Esau. The woman is Israel mm -hmm. yeah. one way, and she's also Mary. Mm -hmm. Mary is the woman about to bring forth the Savior. And this dragon is Esau uh -huh. to do what? <clears throat> Having seven heads and ten horns. This is the Roman Empire. Read. And seven crowns upon his head. Right. And his tail drew. The third of the stars of heaven uh -huh. and did cast them to the earth. Right. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered. So this dragon stood, he withstood Mary and was waiting for her to bring forth a child. Why? For 
to devour her child as as soon as it was born. Let's prove that. Let's go to Matthew 2 and 7. And we'll end here. Matthew chapter 2 verse 7. Read that. Then Hera. Then who? Then Hera. This serpent. This devil. This Roman. Read. When he had privately called the wise man. You see that? Because the devil was what? He's deceptive. He's charming. He's right. sly. Uh -huh. Read. Shrewd. He's shrewd. Read. Inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. Right. So he's asking. He's trying to get all the intel mm -hmm. about Yahweh shot so he could kill him. Read. It's that dragon. And he sent to he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. And when ye have found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. Y'all believe that? No. Yeah. No. No, I mean, no. Read. When they had heard the king, they departed. Uh -huh. And lo, the star which they saw in the east went uh -huh. before them. So they came and stood over where the young child was. Uh -huh. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. Right. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold, and frankincense, and myrrh. And being warned... You see how the woman got stars with her? You see that? See how they followed this star? Yeah. To get to Yahweh Shah. The woman has the star with her. Read. 12. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Hera. To who? To Hera. This snake, this serpent that said he wanted to worship Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. Why? They departed into their own country another way. Why? Keep reading. And when they were departed, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt, and be thou there until I bring thee word. For a herald will seek the young child to destroy him. No, worship him. To destroy him. No, to, to, to thank him. To destroy him. So he's being sly and deceptive. This that damn serpent. Read verse 16. Verse 16. Then Herod, when he saw... That he was mocked of the wise man was exceedingly wroth and sent forth and slew all the children he that did what he sent forth and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem uh -huh. and all and in all the coasts thereof.